to respect to the like gangster or drugger. It's not benefit for us to respect uh, respect them, and they also don't give respect back to us. So number four, to have done good deeds in the past. Those we can enjoy the food now, but don't be one who just live up her capital invest in yourself by making more good merit now. So, so we are continually repeating the result of our past action. For example, if we had had many people in the past, it is likely that when we require help ourselves, we will have the aid of some of the people whom we had previously helped. In the same way, if we continue to help others now, it is likely that in the future, we will have the assistance of someone we had just helped those. We must continue doing good deeds for the future. It is a twin blessing to have done good deeds in the past and to be able to continue to do good deeds for the future. So it also means that if we do in some like right now we are born in the human being because we have done a good deed in the past so if we want to be if we want to live in a peaceful place if we want to live in a happiness family or something like that we want we can continue to do something that good right now and the result can be happen right now or in the future so number five, to live in a suitable place, a place congenial to life, peaceful and with such a society and economy that we can live free from want and fears. So to live in a suitable place has both a material and spiritual meaning. So to live in a suitable place in terms of material, it means a peaceful place where life and property are reasonable, secure. For example, uh, some of the people right now, they are born in the rich family. They have everything that they want and they live in a peaceful place. They live in the secure place, also live in a happiness family. So it is to live in a suitable place in terms of material. But to live in a suitable place in terms of spiritual, it means a place and time where the teacher of the Buddha are known and where one is able to learn and practice the teaching in peace. So, for example, in the previous time, our country have, has had a lot of war and the people in our country can live properly. They live in fears and like they don't have freedom. But, but if we compare from before and right now, we live in a peaceful country. We live in a country that don't have war. And we will live in a country that uh, peaceful and we don't have and we we don't need to fear anything that can harm us so it is to live in a suitable place in terms of spiritually so number six to be on the right path if we are advancing spiritual growing in wisdom and compassion then we are solely blessed so most people do not even know that they are on the wrong path much less being aware of the right path that they should take. The wrong path is that of immorality, greed, and ignorance. The right path is that of regular generosity and wisdom. It is thus a great blessing to know the right path and to set oneself on this path of mature and spiritual progress. So, for uh, so it means that how uh, like for example we see someone who born in a rich family and we want to be like them. We want everything that they have and we want to harm them like it. It is just thinking, but it also 
uh, like right now we are doing on the wrong part because we thinking of harm other. However, we don't do anything but just thinking. So that's all. Thank you. Yes, very good. Yes, good explanation. Okay, please continue. Now, now we remove to the Mission Australia. Talk about the personal blessings. Supporting, hey, supporting blessings, sorry. Blessing, blessing, whatever. Good morning, teacher and everyone. Part two is about the supporting blessing. Before going to detail about each point, I would like to give the explanation about what supporting blessing refer to. In this part, it reveals about the blessing that related to preparation for life, especially for adults and family. It's such a best method for a successful life. It provides balance and holds some material for life. Also, it leads us to go for further progress toward higher ideas. So number seven, to have good education, being knowledgeable for both general and moral education, which is good for daily life, such as learning Buddha teaching. General education is important as well as moral education. Learning Buddha teaching, you will know how to be in peace and you will know how to uh, do good things for others. Number yeah. eight. Let, let, let um, me emphasize a little bit. Yes, we learn, uh, we learn the Buddha teaching. We understand well why we have to avoid from wrongdoing and why we have to uh, cultivate right doing and why we have to purify our mind so until we understand well understand by ourselves we will support otherwise we may not agree with the teaching okay so we can lead our life in the right path, in the right path that lead to um, peace, happiness, and prosperity in very life, this life, daily life, like that. Okay, please. Thank you, teacher. Number eight, to be skilled and proficient at work. Focusing on developing self growth in order to support yourself and family. With a certain skill, you are able to earn a proper living or you can earn a decent living and you won't fall into being able to commit dishonesty or crime. Consequently, it is essential for both material and spiritual advancement. Number nine, to be restrained by moral code. Following a code of discipline such as the five percepts will keep us from the trouble and difficulty. We already uh, studied about the five percepts, so I hope you all catch about it and I want to review some. So one is to abstain from killing any living being. Two, to abstain from taking what not given. Three, to abstain from sexual misconduct. Four, to abstain from lying and false speech such as telling lies and gossip. Five, to abstain from the abuse of consumption or intoxicant and drugs. Number 10, to practice decent speech. Your word should not affect to other people. In contrast, your word should be so fair that bring only benefits and happiness to people. For example, if we always lie, gossip, scold, or speak ill of other, we will have a lot of enemies and people will dislike and distrust us. Uh, next slide, please. Number 11 and 12. According to the book, these two points were combined together. It's yes. about to support parents. 
love and care about your parents, showing gratitude for them by supporting them materially and physically in both when they are alive or after they die. According to Khmer culture, it did mention about the role of children for their parents. There are five good duty of children for their parents. One is taking care about their parents. Two, helping their parents work. Three, preserve family reputation and honor. Four, serving parents with humility. Five, dedication to parents who die. Number 13 is about the cherishing of wife and child. Be responsible for your family and give love for them. To be fair, a woman in this concept is someone who are shoot with her husband's love, not the one who always look down on her husband or the lazy one. A good woman will have the five good to do uh, from her husband. One is gentle talk and invite his wife. Two, treat his wife in a better way and avoiding despising. Three, be loyal to his wife. Four, give some honorary item to his wife and treat her as a great housewife. Five, buy some jewelry on an important day for her. Number 14, to make one livelihood without difficulty. In this point, uh, it uh, is about when you're doing something, you need to do it with patience. In order to accomplish such a thing, you need to, de to do it with all of your effort. Look at problems in a positive way, because until you are conscious in so the problem will be solved. So that's all of my part. Let's meet with another presenter, so in which we will present the third part. Thank you. Okay, um, part three, pers uh, the personal blessing. 15, um, to be charitable by charity, uh, by practicing charity, we can help others materially through our effort or donation or spiritual by sharing the Dharma. Charity, charity should be practiced without regret, discrimination, or ulterior motive. Generous kindness to others bring much love and goodwill for ourselves and also for our family. It is a uh, it is a great blessing um, to be in the fortunate position of being able to help others, and by doing so, we ensure ourselves of more blessing in the future. Sixteen to practice virtuous conduct. Instead of just following a code of the script line and avoiding negative action, we can go to the high, higher level of practice to do good action and observe a positive aspect of five precepts. The five precepts, first one, the practice of harmlessness and compassion. Second, the practice of kindness and generosity. Third, the practice of faithfulness and responsibility. Fourth, the practice of truthfulness and present speech. Last one, fifth, the practice of self-control and mindfulness. Um, let's move to the next slide. 17. To do good, to be help to relative and friend. We should also help our relative and friend if they are indeed like we see in the picture. Mm -hmm. um, we need our neighbor to move the house or to help anything like we can can help each other. For 18, 
to do social service or to do blameless action, an even higher expression of generous generosity should be to access the community in general, such as helping to build school, hospital, or roads, planning of garden and tree, and respect all people, etc. Let's continue. 19 to abstain from evil. Evil in the Buddhist context means any act which harm ourselves, other, or both. You should always abstain from all such negative actions. The 10 unwhole actions, the three body actions, no killing, no stealing, and no mutual misconduct. Sexual misconduct. The four verbal action, no lying, slandering, harsh speech, and gossip. The body, the three mental action, combat the nest, ill will, and wrong view. For example, for wrong view, the person that not accepting commit and rebirth. Let, let me uh, emphasize a little bit about gossip. In our society, some people, they consider idle talk or gossip as the smart, as a, um, uh, even the teachers, even the teachers, some teacher they use gossip to attract the student and some students enjoy that. They are happy to, to learn with those teachers like that. Yes, but for me, I I do not promote this. I do not promote this. I know sometimes for the beginning of my career, some advise me yes, to adopt this, but I, I do not change my um, concept, change my belief. Because it is considered inclusive or idle talk. I don't know if you don't know if you don't know if you don't know if you don't know if เอ่อคนซักก็โจจัดครูอึ้งจังนะปัญหาได้สักខ្ញុំរៀនរៀនធម៌នឹងតាំងពីដើមកអញ្ចឹងខ្ញុំសុំទោសខ្ញុំអត
So move to next slide, teacher. Some some uh, some panasan yum yum chop uh, thought muisan some some pleasant yum but chop uh, 